I'm your Joe. Um, I'm your Joe Host Zamora here. I am your host Joe Zamora here. <laughs> I can't talk, and I am here to bring you another episode of Pokemon Conquest. We're still doing the Kenjin uh, story, and we are doing the second part. Of course, we're taking on. Uh, we're actually going to try to take on two castles today. So let's so go ahead and see how this goes. Um, those of you watching on Facebook, thank you for continuing to join me, and those for you on YouTube. Please leave a like, subscribe, and then sit back and relax and enjoy the show. And again, don't forget to check me out on Twitch, because I will be streaming there uh, later today, most likely. But here we go. Now we're going to select Warriors to go to Pugilus. Um, we did set up this little army here. So we actually had a decent fight for this side of the army. And then we had uh, Kenjin... And the squad we used yesterday, or yeah, yesterday, uh, to fight Shinjin's army that moved over to where the bug type Pokemon hide. So, so far, so good. Kinjin's army versus Shinjin's army. We're off, Sfeel. Protect this land with all we have. Yeah, I don't, I don't think it's happening. All right, here we go. Spill is taking off and starting the show. And then Ghastly is moving into position as well. Everyone's moving into position. Let's just go ahead and get y'all where y'all need to be. Are you a Mountaineer? No. Okay. Normally, Mountaineer is Pokemon that can... Uh, it's an ability for Pokemon to uh, jump to higher places. So, I was kind of hoping it had it so I could have went down and jumped straight up, but he doesn't have it. And in this battle, we for sure have to get rid of Tet Pig so uh, Trico can do some damage. And uh, we got to keep Scraggy away from Ghastly. All right, so we take two banners. In this one, you have to uh, claim and hold on to all the banners for five turns. So it's a little bit harder, but if you defeat the whole enemy side, all you got to do is collect all the banners. Alright, his whole team seems to be just sitting still. Which is not going to bode well for him. Alright, so Scraggy does come up, which uh, makes us hesitant to bring... Uh... right oh, now I'm full swing. I can't get enough of the thrill of battle. Alright, so Scraggy there makes us hesitant to bring uh, Ghastly over. So we're going to go ahead and... You know what? Can we? Uh, can Spill get all the way over? Okay. So let's bring Spill this way. Fill the Spill. Get an icy wind off. Do really good damage, and put a Sandile in range of Trico. Ted Pig shouldn't move from the flag, so that's going to be a good thing for us. Curses! We'll get the next one. You definitely win. Well, the match isn't over yet, but I'll take the win. All right, so Ghastly sitting there. We can't attack the Scraggy, uh, regardless if we had the option to or not, because Dark type is resistant to Psychic, but Scruppy's not. D oh man, I should have checked if Scraggy was in range of Ghastly. Oh, it's not. He just goes for the Spiel. Which is fine. And of course, right here, right on is just right horn. Jesus Christ, I can't talk. 
Well, I can't say the right names of the Pokemon, apparently. But he's just sitting there behind uh, Machop. Let's go ahead and knock Scraggy down. And here we can... Oh, not kill, but we can do real good damage to the Skaruppy. Oh, that takes it out. We're going to go ahead and hit uh, the Piggy here. Ooh, critical hit at that. I'll take it. Move Ghastly here. And kind of we're in the right we're in a prime spot just to kind of sit here and have Scruppy just stuck cuz the AI is not smart enough to move it out of the way. So they're just going to sit there because, again, the AI is not smart enough to just like, oh, I'm going to move. So we're going to go ahead and potion up and get right in range of this Rhyhorn here. And we do some pretty good damage. Oh, and we freeze. We get the freeze. All right, here we go. I don't want to just sit here for five whole turns. Wow, we don't take it out now? That's interesting. All right, let's go ahead and take out the Skaruppy. Sit in front of the Machop. Get some damage off. move you this way and now we're in a prime position as well because ghastly is completely immune to fighting type moves and ground type moves scraggy comes up again behind us and gives us a thwopping which feels gonna probably get knocked out the next turn but it's quite all right So we're going to come back around here, do some really good damage. And Rhyhorn's almost out of there. Let's go ahead and come up behind the Pig Knight and get some damage, hopefully a Paralysis. Go ahead and come up here, get that big damage off with the Psy Shock. Down he goes. And now we can get uh, Trico over there and get the kill off with the Absorb, which is a beautiful, beautiful play. And Spill is just in the right spot where Tepig can't hit Trico, so. We are in prime position to win this match pretty easily. And we already claimed all the banners. We need only three more turns. All right, Scraggy's going to take a hit, but we're pretty fine there. And he's going to take out... Oh, no, Spill takes the hit. All right, Spill comes around, gets some revenge a little bit off on the Scraggy. Takes about six health. Oh, and gets the freeze. All right, Trico is going to sit here in front of the Tepig and get some damage off there. Let's go ahead and move Scraggy out of the way and get our range attacker here. Gets 13 damage off. And hopefully Scraggy stays burned, I mean uh, frozen, because we're going to move uh, Ghastly here. And get some more damage off on this Tepig. And keep Trico out of range of getting uh, Embered. And you just sit there. Oh, Shed Skin comes off. And down goes the Ghastly if he chooses to hit there. All 
Oh no, he's gonna finish off what he started. Or she's gonna finish off what she started and take out the spiel. So now, Tepig's going down to the Psy Shock. Which is good for us. We're gonna go ahead and get some damage off on the Scraggy, and now it is uh, five against one, basically. I'm sure Ghastly goes down to one hit, though, so. Not sure how much effect that will do. But I mean, we're still in a very good position. Alright, Scraggy goes ahead and gets that damage off, and well does more than enough. Alright, last turn. So let's just go ahead and get some damage off on this Scraggy. And it's pretty much over after this. Sadly, we didn't get all the knockouts, but at least we claimed the castle, and that's all that matters. Alrighty. Now is the last turn. She's probably going to try to hit Curlia. Ooh, she raised her crit chance, and it knocks out the Curlia, which is fine. Well, how about that, huh? We won! We are victorious! Looking good, my guys. Alright, next up, we're gonna take out the Shinjin army uh, at the at the Bugs, Bug Castle. Alright, we saved, and now let's go ahead and take this castle on over here. Select warriors! It's all these guys right here. They did so good last time, we're gonna do it again. I shall show you how to wage war with love in your heart. Alright, that sounds ominous. Alright, here we go. Let us savor this battle. And he says that every time. I didn't read what he said last time. Let's prove just how strong we are. Urgh. Well, you're pretty strong to be my enemy. Let's go ahead and move you this way. So the one bad thing is uh, we don't really have an answer to the fire weakness, but we'll figure it out. Alright, Jobert comes off. Oh, and we were in range of Dig, which is a very dumb move on my part. Rhyperior is obviously trying to get in range. Oh, Venipede comes off and gives us a thrashing with that poison poison sting. But luckily does not get the poison. And Rhyhorn follows right after. Alright, we sit here. We're going to get some damage off on that Onyx. And also close up that range of of flame charge as well so that's that's a really good thing on our part hello everyone welcome to the stream all right we're gonna go ahead and knock out this venipede here sweet next up we're gonna go ahead and hit with this curlia oh no and we're trapped that's what i was really afraid of and we're going to go ahead and bring Dratini around to the side. And Dig does decent damage, but it looks like our HP has gone up. Or at least our defenses have. And he flamed, the Flame Charger is getting out of the way. And he goes ahead and attacks our Pokemon that is trapped anyway. So that's not too much of an issue. And it looks like Rhyperior, uh, Rhyhorn is going to 
knock us out with the drill run or the not the drill run what am I saying the bulldoze Ooh, and it goes pro plays and goes for the massive damage. And we lose some range. That's fine. Alright, we're going to go ahead and get some damage off on this Drillber. Almost knocks it out, but not quite. So we're going to go ahead and hit the Drillber here. And then uh, we'll probably for sure get the kill on Onyx. With the Carnivine. Alright, yeah, we do. For sure kill. Onyx goes down, but it doesn't go down without a fight. It went ahead and jagged edged us, and it flame bodied us. Probably the worst thing that could have happened in that situation. All right, but right here cannot rot record twice. We're gonna go ahead and get some damage off here. Forty damage, and hopefully Curly can finish this thing off. And it looks like it might. Critical hit. It for sure knocks this thing out. Defeat. Err. Well, I won't lose next time. Well, there ain't gonna be a next time. Oh, do we have something to fix that? Fire burn. All right, here we go. We're gonna go ahead and bring you here. Hit that thing. Oh no! That sucks. Well, we can still get a hit off on that thing. Seven damage is not the worst thing. Now let's go ahead and get the kill here. Critical hit. Alright, now what we're going to do is keep this guy out of range of Cub Chew. We're just going to move here to keep him out of range of us as well. Ooh, another Ponogiri ball. So now, Rhyperior is on the run. Alright, we're going to go ahead and come here to be safe from the Rock Wrecker. Oof. No, let's, let's, let's keep you on the offensive here. Let's move you here, just out of range. Get some more damage there. Oof, miss. And let's get some little chip damage there. It's all we can do. It's all we can do. We're stuck with Cub Chew. Oof. He goes for the plus attack. And... Oh, demolishes the Dratini again. Poor Dratini. Cannot catch a break. Alright, Cub Chew, we're going to go ahead and sit you over here. Can you do anything? Okay, you do 28 damage. Kind of want that treasure box, though. Eh, fuck it. Let's just go ahead and go for the damage. And let's go ahead and activate our bustle ability. And we're right here to hit this right period. Alright, Curly has to sit back and watch because uh, Gallade is in the way. Cannot use Rock Rocker twice, so we're safe from that. How much damage does this do? Okay. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to get Gallade the kill here. We're going to go ahead and get the chip damage off. You can still get us that treasure box, so that's awesome. 
And here we go with the kill. Good lead. Gets the crit. Psycho cut for the win. Well, they got us. And no mistake. Victorious. Victory. We are. We, there we go, guys. Two battles in one. Let's see if we can do that again on the next episode. Alright guys, if you're watching here on YouTube, thank you guys for watching. Leave a like, subscribe, check out Facebook and Twitch, and I'll see you guys next time.